was 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 weird. What's interesting about the whole marriage thing I see too is this, man, is a lot of guys, I think what happens is they don't actually look at their relationships. Um, I think they go too much into the love aspect of it, which which is cool. You could have love, you know, you could have love for your girl and, and all that other stuff, which is cool. But I think what, what a, lot of, a lot of guys on is the business aspect of the relationship because relationships are still business. You understand what I'm saying? And I think what happens is a lot of guys miss that part of the, the, the actual situation. So if you're going to have a woman around you and she's going to be with you on a consistent basis to where she becomes your girlfriend and eventually becomes your wife, what guys who have weak ass game do is they just have her sitting there looking pretty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But guys with game the trophy. What they do is they implement the woman into their situation, into their life to have her as a helpmate to build him up. You see what I'm saying? So basically, you got to put your woman to work if you're going to have a woman. You understand? So, so meaning if you're going to have a woman in your life, she should be actually contributing some sort of energy to your situation to create something better you understand but what most guys do is they they meet a woman they get married like in two months or something or six months so they fall in love and they're just like head over heels with some woman and then then what happens is it doesn't work out they they get mad because the woman uh divorces them and take half their stuff if you are in a relationship and it doesn't work out that's cool because stuff like that goes down but wouldn't it make more sense if you was with a woman for an extended period of time and for that extended period of time she actually helped you build something so that mm. it does not work out and she does get something is something she earned you see what i'm saying and this is why this is where a lot of guys get upset because they're in a situation with a woman who got something from them but she didn't earn anything you see what i'm saying and this is why a lot of guys are bitter about the whole marriage thing or guys you know sort of um you know just latch on to uh being in a relationship but when it doesn't work they're upset and they're like oh you know like they're just all over the place so i always tell guys they gotta look at the business aspect of a relationship meaning what is this woman actually doing for me versus her just being there because she has, she's a, a consistent source of vagina and because she looks good. You know what I'm saying? Affy says, I need to be complete first mm -hmm. before he even thinks about settling down. So, Affy, go ahead and rebuttal. So now, most 21 Savage said, women don't want to build with men anymore. You said, well, I'd rather be complete besides <laughs> settling down anyway, before I do that anyway. Yeah, so, bro. Go ahead and rebuild. I don't, even, I, don't, I don't even make 20 bands a month, bro. What I want to need a girlfriend for, bro. Why would I want to do that? That ain't going to help. That That's going to slow it down because she's going to want date nights and shit. And she's going to want to fuck with me. I don't feel like it. And then, when, and then I might have some shit to do, and then I fuck, and then I want to go to sleep. See, no, I'm gonna stay my ass single and get all my shit accomplished, and then I then I can focus on the girl. But matter of fact, I won't have to focus on the girl because my shit gonna see be so put together that she ain't gonna be able to replace me, and that's gonna be seventy percent right there. Just me coming in because I'm working on my shit. She she ain't coming in here with nothing, bro. So it's like it's just like a chick moving in with me. This my couch, my TV, my fucking block. My fucking pictures. You you can stay or you can go. You can grab the purse that you came with, and that's all that you. That's it. The only the only way the only exception for that is a woman's purpose becoming. Excuse me. My purpose becoming the woman's purpose. That's the only way. Mm. But but it got to be genuine though. It, it don't have to be because I didn't gave her fucking five hours of flavor every fucking night and shit. She gotta already. She got to already be into it and not advance that. You see what I'm saying? Not just, okay, she she got the look. She got the height. She dressed. Now I'm going to fucking make her into it. No, nah, bro. It, she got to already have that genuine desire as like a piece of clay for me to build off of. I'm not trying to, you know, uh, break hearts. I'm not trying to change hearts, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just like selling a car. You know what I'm saying? I can... I can sell a car. I got game. I can tell people about the history and the miles and in the in the car facts and the stereo system and all that. But guess what? If a woman pulls up and she's already interested in the kind of car, which is me, 
if she's already looking for a red Ferrari, then the features come after. You see, the features come after. She's already interested. We can build off of that. Mm. I don't have to convince her, you know, because a lot of times, a lot of times men spend too much time trying to convince women to do shit and see what happens is the woman ends up resenting them because they were convinced. Mm. You made them feel manipulated, right? right? Because what you, what you molded and the vision that you had and you put it in front of her, it wasn't accurate. And it wasn't accurate because it really wasn't your vision. That's why you didn't paint it right. It wasn't your actual vision. You were just telling her what you thought she wanted to hear. Mm, right. So you can't become that. You see what I'm saying? You can't become that. When you are that, then they adapt. She she, she got to be so solid that I say I want to stop doing things to, to, to reward her because she's so significant in my life. Not to like fucking shit because it ain't been three weeks and I need to bust them up. Fuck all of that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all of that. I watch a porno. That's five minutes. Take a shower, and I can move on my fucking day. I ain't got to deal with nobody's attitude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you to see if you can meet it in the middle with the two. Now, Afi, he stated, "Be complete first. You know, mm -hmm. Lucario and anybody else will be like, "Hey, a woman should be able to build with you." Yeah. Now, you have people out there talking about uh, avoid the women with the PhDs who care about a woman that's educated. And this sounds like somebody that's kind of like a perfect helpmate, if you're, especially if you're trying to have like a legacy or a business and keep it in the family so you can basically have potential growth in the future. Uh, ultimately, and I've said this, I, I've told guys, no matter what I say, go out and apply it to your life. I'm just giving a perspective. I don't, I, when I meet every single woman, I deal with them as an individual. And I'm seeing what, how she, what she can bring to my life. Because mm -hmm. I've known some PhDs, shoot, they might have that degree, but when they with you, they leaving all that to the side. Mm. So what's the big deal? It's like, I mean, I've known some, some women, they like bosses, managers, and they yet like yes, daddy, when they you know when they away from the job, mm -hmm. you know. So it's like, but ultimately, what I'm saying is, every man got to decide what's good for him. Like I'm just giving a perspective. We all giving a perspective, but ultimately, the man got to say, okay, what's good for me? That PhD might be good for him. that woman who's 37 might be good for him. right? You know? Shoot, I know some 50 or 60 year olds. They got tight ass bodies. So it's like you ultimately got to follow your own thing. See, too. And, you know, that's why I like even calling uh, my supporters followers. I'll still do it out of a reflex, but yeah. I want them like, shoot, y'all need to climb with me. Because y'all got to ultimately, every single man got to develop his own game. And that's all I'm trying to do is wake them up to say, okay, what do you want? What's your mission? Right. Does he fit into it? Because you never know. Let's use the PhD thing. Somebody say, don't do it, but well, let, okay, not even a PhD. What if she got an advanced degree in accounting or something? You building your business. That's what mm -hmm. I always say, yeah. Yeah, she might get, she can, might help, or she might got the connections. Mm -hmm. You know? So you can't, you can't just all make it. Oh, I ain't gonna mess with her because she's that. It's like, no. It's like, where does she fit in? Yeah. Where does she fit hey, in? Hey. And, and I see it with both of both of them are saying because ultimately a man does got to get himself together. Mm. But then when he wants to build further, yes, a woman helps with that. So they both, both right, both right. And really, uh, I would even lean more to even saying the man, he needs to get himself together to even get to that relationship thing. Many mm. guys keep asking, I'm like, dude, instead of chasing the women, you need to at least get your mind right. You know, at least get at least everything else will follow. Get your mind right. Because, you know, when you're dealing with women, one of the things is they always going to follow their own agenda. Right. Mm -hmm. They're going to fight on it. And if you if your shit ain't together, you're going to be reacting to her instead of saying, hold up, you're supposed to leave. And somebody, you know, somebody say, well, how's that game? Women want to follow. They want to follow. But in order to for a woman to follow, you got to know where you go. If a man need to have a relationship with himself, then he can build whatever he want to do past that. Mm. I'm about to give you a hack, because this is where y'all be messing up at. Uh-oh. <laughs> y'all be thinking, 
this, this is where this is where y'all be messing up at, players. You guys be chasing women with money to become more broke. So these cats, they go right. They go out. They go on Tinder. They go wherever, and then they and then and then they meet a chick, right? So they, they they shooting the shit with the chick. Oh yeah, she a doctor. So boom. So now. The man feeling like he hit the lottery, bro. Mm. Ooh, is he a doctor, right? So now what he do? He look at her as a catch. So now he going out buying new clothes to impress her. He thinking about more money. So it's like since he knows she got money, he want to show he got money too. Mm. But he don't got the money like her. Mm. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Mm. So he's trying to flex just to keep up, to keep her attention, bro. Mm -hmm. So you get the you got the woman with the money, and and you want to keep her attention by making it seem like you equal to her, mm -hmm. and you going broke doing it, bro. And then you gonna ride a gas, and she gonna ice you, bro. Mm -hmm. And you ain't learned nothing from her, bro. All you learn how to do is to spend your money and trick off just to to impress a woman with money. So when you meet women with money, guess what? This is the opposite what you're supposed to do. You supposed to act like they must. Excuse me. You well, you if you're not really there, you supposed to act like the money ain't nothing, bro. Right. Mm -hmm. Because it ain't it ain't yours yet. Has she has she wait has she even with when when y'all when you took her out to eat steak and lobster, did she even tip? Nah, you I got it, baby. I'm a big dog. No, 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 don't you dare do that. Y'all be thinking that look good and shit for the chick, bro. She done put you on a trick bag. Mm -hmm. So you gotta, you gotta, you you gotta be used to that. You can't let that affect, especially if she's not talking about doing anything for you. A lot of times you meet these women with money, and you actually put yourself in activity, man. You put yourself as activity, man. So you you looking at it like, oh, I got this bad one, and she a doctor. What we doing on Friday? She looking at it like, where this nigga gonna take me on Friday? Mm -hmm. She don't even want to see you. She just mm -hmm. like. She just she she just wanna she just like what you produce. Do you produce? Where where are you gonna take him to the carnival, to the fish? I wonder what he's gonna think of this week. She don't give a fuck about you. <laughs> right? But that's but 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 that's that's where you set yourself up at. Mm. So we, we, we got more control than than we know that we do. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it ain't the woman is crazy or the woman is entitled or the woman it is anything, bro. It's cause of you, bro. Cause she can do whatever the fuck she want, and you still gonna call her. You still gonna want let it. You still gonna you think you think because you yell at her and shit that she learned the lesson. <laughs> Successful women, high value women, PhDs. Why do they need to be overlooked? Isn't really all that serious from what we've been hearing. Rest in peace, because you know who. But is it just a misunderstanding? Is it with avoiding? I want to know what's the what's the what's the um. <laughs> Why? What was the reason I was just saying to avoid those women? <laughs> because too masculine. Like if they had to compete to get where they are today, of course they had to carry up on some type of, uh, you know, low femity or high masculinity because they're competing with other men. Like they'll say they away from female police officers, military, you know, nah, the, nah, the nah. CEO or whatever. That's why I said bring it home. What's the what they, don't realize, what they don't realize is that those women are working for men. So basically they're in a situation where they're already in a submissive position. They're just they're just submissive to their boss, but they ain't submissive to their man at home. So it's really the man at home that doesn't know how to be a leader so that his woman will be submissive to him. So it doesn't matter that the fact that he's a PhD or she's in this situation. It's just that he's the dude who's who's weak and doesn't know how to <laughs> manage his woman or has or his woman doesn't respect him in that man. That's all it really is. A lot of dudes they get it confused and think. See, the problem is most guys don't understand their influence, or they don't they don't understand that they can influence their woman. So mm -hmm. most guys are influenced by their women instead of the women being influenced by them. So this is why the guys are like, man, I'm not gonna mess with those women because those guys feel like they can't influence women because that's never been their forte. Like they're always influenced by the woman. So now what it is is that. For a woman who's not the PhD, who's not the you know in those positions, because they they think that those women are easier to deal with. But what mm. happens is that in general, those guys have an issue dealing with women. Period, because they don't really have game like 
So a woman that's the PhD seems like the challenge when it's not really that. Because that woman who's the PhD, she still has a guy or a guy he's dealt with or is dealing with now who she respects, who she's submissive to, who she's going to be, you know, about what that guy's about because he knows how to, how to make it work. That's all there is. You know what I'm saying? Some women will pay, they'll pay a gigolo just to submit. They, exactly. That's how much they want. Right. Seriously, trust me, trust me. Oh, they man, gotta be that woman. Right. Gotta come out in them somewhere. I don't care what they do. Here's the thing: you just gotta stop being intimidated by women. That's something my mother taught me. She said, don't be intimidated by anybody smaller than you. Right, exactly. Women, man, shoot, it's like it's that's the worst thing. You do this in chat. The woman, if you want to, okay, she got a degree. Okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, okay, good. You can feed yourself. Okay. Well, we got to talk about what What can we talk about? <laughs> it's like, you know, seriously, too many men out here acting like they're scared of a woman. I'm like, the women don't bite unless you want them to. Mm -hmm. I mean, right. exactly. shoot. I, see, I, I don't get that. It's like, just talk. Mm -hmm. Even yeah. a woman, if she ain't feeling you or something, she, is, she can still respect you. Mm hmm. You can still get respected. I can count on one hand with fingers left over <laughs> how many times I really got like a woman's just disrespect. And even then she wasn't yelling or something mm. in a rejection. And even then it was still very calm. That was the best. If you even if you, you know, you just talk to him or something, and he might say, Yeah, I got a man and everything. I said, Okay, cool. Yeah, you got a good day. And really, if you out here, sometimes, man, just have a conversation with the woman without trying to get in. You know? Yeah. Just shoot the breeze, something, man. There's, there's an abundance out here, man. You, you're supposed to be focused on, uh, you know, your main thing anyway. And plus, there's always somebody you should. If you too, yeah, you do a woman right, shoot, you can always call her, call her back up. When I had my guest, Bianca Ariel, I was even talking about how just the art of conversation is gone. Just being friendly. Like, you don't have to try to get the number. You don't have to try to smash. I wouldn't even say some of you guys out there just needs to practice. Just really just <laughs> say hi. Just have a decent conversation and just move on. You don't have to, like, have an ulterior motive of trying to bag the girl. Just be mm. friendly. And we need to bring back being friendly. I know there's platforms out there like, I don't care all that's fluffed off. I just want to do this. And, uh, I get it. But some of y'all really just need to learn how to just pretty much just be cordial and friendly first before y'all try to like, you know, go out there and go Red Bull mode one. Like some of y'all just need to like learn how to get comfortable with just basically chilling and chopping it up with like a random woman. Just well, compliment and keep it moving and that's it. 